Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that there's people who are angry today, people who are mad at God today because they have been living a straightforward life. They have been living a right life, but they see people who have been doing wrong, prospering, God giving them chances, things going smoothly in their lives, even though they have been living a sinful life. But God is saying today that there is no need need to be angry because he's going to give all these things to you because you are going to get even so much more that is why when you read from the book of luke chapter 15 verse 28 the bible says the older brother became angry and refused to go in so his father went out and pleaded with him but he answered his father look all these years i've been slaving for you and you and never disobeyed your orders yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitute comes home, you still, you kill the fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. So this is the well-known scripture about the prodigal son. So here the older brother was angry that father I've been here serving you being enslaved to you doing your will making you happy comforting you being there for you yet you never even gave me a gold to celebrate with my friends and guess what the father's response was he said that my son everything i have is yours so it means that the father did not only just want to give him a party or a gold the father wanted to give him everything Thing. And it's important to note that yes, the younger son might have gotten his share of the inheritance, but now the inheritance has accumulated over the years or over the months. And then now the father is telling the older son that hey, all these things, everything that I have is yours, everything. So God is saying that yes, you might be complaining in your life that God does not give you anything that god is not being kind to you that god is not answering your prayers but what god has prepared in store for you what god wants to give to you what god wants to give to you as an inheritance is very big it can't be comprehended with the human mind it can't even be listed because it is everything god wants to give you everything that you can think of everything under the sun and even beyond the sun in the mighty name of jesus amen